Hello and welcome to Florian Models Friday Roundup Show. First week back after a week off and boy has it been a really busy one. So starting off this week we were working on the little lady on Monday. Uh, lots of work on this particular build, obviously doing the paint work. We put the stripes on for this particular part in part nine and really working through trying to get it finished off uh, and to be honest this week we've been really pushing forward with it and then today you've actually got part 10 of this one up which basically covers down here at the back end we did the engine so we talked about about obviously the resin ones that we made for the replacement ones in there so obviously installing those which is a cheat okay and then obviously using bare metal foil around the engine intakes uh, as you know if you've watched me or followed me for some time it's my chosen way of doing round engine intakes and leading edges on airliners and stuff like that it gives a great metal effect it's hard as nails so um, a question came up yesterday to me about it about why use bare metal foil over using your normal standard like Molotov pens for chrome or just normal paints two things for it one is uh, to actually go around a curved area and mask it up sharply in a confined space as well so on these engines down here it's not easy to get in there especially between the two engines uh, you know that's a bit of a thing trying to airbrush in there also because it's in situ you'd have to mask the entire thing so it's easier to use bare metal foil the other thing bare metal foil has over using paints of any description is it's as hard as nails. You will never rub through bare metal foil. It's just like, if you imagine like kitchen foil, I think it's a little bit thinner, um, but it's great because once it's on, you cannot rub through it. So if it's on leading edges of wings down here, things like that, you can handle it to your heart's content, knowing full well you will never rub through it. Unlike when we were doing things like the B17 and in previous things where we've used chrome work especially, you can dull it by handling it. So you always have to go around and do little touchings and things like that during it. So that's great. The other thing as well, beautiful thing about bare metal foil is it wraps right the way around on the inside. So you don't have to worry about masking up on the inside of something like an intake because the bare metal foil will go on the inside and what you can do is just use a smaller pit and just put it around the inside of it and then you just basically rub it together and if you rub this stuff long enough you can make it seamless so if you're overlapping with it or you've got a little wrinkle you can buff those out so they are pushed flat and you don't see them and to be honest with you by the time you've masked up you might as well have used bare metal foil because then that way you can actually just do it in one. So the time you would spend cutting, masking, getting it all in there just to put on that edge, you could have done it with bare metal foil and just as I do afterwards, cut it to clean it up. So anyway, we showed all about that one on there. And as you can see, we've gone through and we have given her a wash so she's had a full wash now and all the rest of it she is literally now just waiting for um oils so it's oils the lights got to go on there a few little aerials all the little bits and pieces got to be fitted to this one refueling hoses with the baskets on the end as well and she will be completed so plan of action really is to work on it a little bit over the weekend and then obviously finish it off on monday uh, and then next week it'll be a clear week to make our way through with that one but she has been I wouldn't say a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie to you, she's actually been a lot of hard work to get us to this stage. If you haven't been following this build, just to put it into context, this is a Mac 2 kit. Yeah, there you go, I can show you. So it looks like that when they come along. They are not nice. It's horrible plastic, horrible flash, but you use it for what it is, and that's the overall shape. Unfortunately, though, the overall shape was wrong, so we ended up cutting the front off. It was cut just behind the bulkhead here, where the door is, and then obviously we put in shims. We moved the nose down by about three degrees. We put in basically two mil of plastic card at the top, and then we've had to fill, reattach. Also, the other thing I've done, you might see on here, we'll cover this a lot more on the next build in part 11, but we moved the windows completely, because the windows weren't even in the right place, because the actual canopy isn't correct. So we ended up having to move the windows. So we used the clear part and just polished the entire clear part up. Then we've dropped the windows. So we've actually moved the windows slightly lower sorry slightly higher on both sides and we've reshaped them all a little bit which was all done as you've seen on previous builds and things like that so now she's been unmasked you can see those windows in there very very happy how it's come out this is one of those builds very reminiscent of when i did the bear where i will look back on it with a great sense of fondness but I will never build another one. I've done it now. The bear was done. We re-scribed uh, and re-riveted the entire thing on that. Uh, this is very similar to it as well. So this has been re-scribed, sorted out. Everything's been changed on it within a certain way. It's not going to win any awards anyway soon. Uh, but uh, at that point of view, it's still looking a lot nicer than it did, I think, straight out of the box by making the modifications we've made to it. And I'll look back and think we've done it. It's done. 
wouldn't do another one, but I've done this one, so it's nice. And hopefully if you guys have been following along with this build, and say it's probably only gonna be an 11 parter, in those 11 parts you've seen that nothing's unbuildable, Modeling is a skill, so you learn your skills and you develop your skills over time. So just making this thing seamless down the seam lines, that's a massive job. As we said before, I think on last night, I think it's had between six to nine coats of primers or you know surfaces in one form or another and sanded back just to make it right. Same goes with the wings and everything else and the joins and stuff like that in there. This front end as well, multiple coats of everything just to get it all in there and look right. So from that point of view, it's actually quite nice because it's back to basics build okay and stuff like that but anyway we'll do the windows we'll sort it all out we'll get it all finished off on monday so then obviously the final part will either be up with you on monday or i might switch around i might actually do a review monday because i need another day on this one to finish it off properly so depending which way we make our way around on that one Tuesday it was Q&A day. So as you said, went through uh, lots of your questions, lots obviously to catch up with. We were speaking about all the bits and pieces. Don't forget, I think most of you have now. I had a, a real uh, surge of them last night after we spoke about on the live show. But if you haven't sent me your address for your medal yet, please do it now um, because I need to get them out of the way and sorted. I've only got, I think there's about six of you that haven't yet. But if you can send me your actually addresses and I get your medals out to you on Monday and they will go out. Everybody who sent me your addresses last night, they will go out on Monday as well. I haven't had a chance to do them and get them in today's post because I had too many orders to get through. But everybody's orders have gone. But the actual medals, I'll get them out to you on Monday as we make our way through with that one. But anyway, lots of questions, lots of things we went through and we did all of that one. On Wednesday, it was the PM Store Show. So me and Matt from, uh, from PM Models were going through all the latest kit releases. We were talking obviously about the Spitfire, uh, obviously about the Mustang and all the other reviews that we've done on that day. Anything to do with kits, what's releases, things like that, answering your questions as well and talking tools and paints and all of those as well so if you want to have a look at that one you can have a look there also up that day as well i put up for the uh, review for the valum uh 70 second scale uh vickers valetta so that's the t3 version with the actual uh, little uh domes or astrodomes along the spine as well there is another version without that one if you didn't want that one okay so that is up there as well and also we were talking about the click and fit type play uh great for beginners and everything else like that with the actual uh f18 hornet I don't know why. If somebody was mentioning about, is that not called Valletta? I would call it a Valletta. Uh, and on this one about, I don't know why it's got two sets of tails in it. I wasn't talking about it's got two tails because obviously it's a Hornet uh, and it would have. I was on about why has it got two sets of tails into it. Anyway, um, but again, if you've got kids, uh, if you're returning to the hobby, stuff like that, these kits are absolutely fantastic. It talks about no paint required and all the rest of it. Clearly you are. And clearly it could do with probably a little bit of filler here and there and tidying up in some of the areas. But again, it's one of those great kits to get people hooked into the hobby because it's not rocket science to put this one together. But you could then use it as a great kick forward and a great sort of movement forward on these ones so certainly if you wanted to i think it's better than the revel 70 second scale one uh it seems to have beautiful surface d like to hold onto this one uh but again it's one of those ones where take no notice of its clunkiness fit because if you wanted to, you could just take all the doors off of it and everything else like that, refashion your actuators and the various, all the little details onto this one and turn that into a very, very nice kit indeed. So for 25 quid, I think it's a bargain. And it's got cartograph decals onto it for making it into chippy ho and it looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So something definitely to be said about that one. Also up when we put up the Range Rover as well, so we had three reviews up this week. So the Range Rover build, absolutely gorgeous as well. Lovely kit, um, nothing really I can say about that one. It, it's a Vogue, it, it looks absolutely fantastic very nice detail onto it again nothing over the top straightforward build construction but the quality is all the way through that one so it's very nice indeed and again it's nice to have now a brand new up-to-date uh, Range Rover as well so great reviews coming up obviously uh, next week as well as I said before I will do the Spitfire um, this is my kit as well so I'm planning on actually building this kit later on in the year so stay tuned for that one. So we'll be having a look at that one. And obviously in there as well, you get the resin figure of Douglas uh, Bader, uh, or Bader, I should say. So he's got him as well in there. Not sure about his leg. Anyway, we've also got the Mustang as well. So again, that looks an absolute beautiful one as well. So it'd be interesting to see those reviews, as I say. Might get one up one Monday, one Tuesday, depending how this one sort of feels as it makes its way around. So anyway, that was basically kit day as Wednesday, as always. You always get your reviews and the PM show will always be up there as well as we have a look around the store. And then obviously last night we had the review, uh, sorry, the review, the live show uh, was up with you. So that was absolutely fantastic, answering all your questions. We had a ton of questions in there 
there. We went slightly over as well because normally we try and finish it at nine. I don't think we finished till 20 past. So uh, that's up there as well. One thing, for some reason, not my fault. Um, a few of you have mentioned it's full of adverts for watching the playback. I've turned it off. Um, I don't know why I even put them in there. It looks like YouTube has defaulted putting adverts into all the videos. So they are literally every 10 minutes through it. I've now turned them off. I don't know. It's the first time it's happened. Normally, as you know, we don't have adverts running through the videos. So um, I've now turned it off and then turned them off in the settings. So apologies for anybody who watched the playback and got videos, uh, adverts every 10 minutes on YouTube. I hate them as much as you do. So I have turned them off clearly. So they are now out of the way. And then obviously today you get me doing this one and obviously the next part of this one as we spoke about as well. So that is up with you on there. Uh, a couple of housekeeping bits to talk about. Um, obviously a lot of people asking about the Sanders. Uh, when are they going to be back in and everything? I was hoping they were going to be here literally yesterday or today. They're not. They're going to be with me on Monday. So the starter sets and all those sanders we've been out of stock now for the last, uh, well, month or two, will be back in stock next week. As soon as they arrive here, and I've got them on my grubby little hands, I'll put them up onto the site. Remember, if you're on a waitlist system, so if we're out of stock, you can put your email address. You'll get email notification comes through the second they go back in stock. So then you can just follow the link back to the actual forum or into the actual main site, uh, into the store, and you can click and buy and go in there so they will be up with you uh, within a few uh, day or two. Uh, other thing as well, obviously PM models had a huge restock and various things have been going on this week. So you can pop in there. As I said, here's all the kits we were talking about. We've got back in stock at say the Eddard Spitfire. I honestly, if you want my humble opinion, I would get it because I imagine this will go like hen's teeth. At the moment, they're readily available. But when they go out of stock, that will be it. And because of this boxing, you get two Spitfires in there and you get the figure, fantastic markings. I imagine when that is sold out, it's going to go through the roof on eBay. So a bit like the Tornadoes did. So I would grab a kit, not even from us. I'm not trying to plug us, but if you want to, grab it whilst you can because it will go out soon. And again, as you can see, just down in here, all the kits we were talking about, obviously, on the show, on uh, Wednesday with me and Matt they are in there as well you get the Chieftains which is absolutely fantastic it's a two-in-one pack so you get the Mark 10 and the Mark 11 in that one as well plus uh, all the other ones we spoke about during the show are in there as always and don't forget we've had full restocks as well uh, various paints have all come through and thinners and stuff like that Abtai Lung's coming through and all of those so everything is coming back in with the PM store as well so loads and loads of stuff coming in uh, the other thing as well is that if I haven't answered any of your emails and stuff like that, bear with me. I will catch up with them over the weekend. But as you imagine, busy week being first week back. Some of you I do need to answer. I will get back in contact with you as make your way through. And last up, we've got um, uh, Steve from uh, Cleave Prince, which is cleaveprince.co.uk, has kindly done us a special offer where all the members get 10% discount off any of the prints. So you know the artwork that I used to have in here, which is now in the lounge and stuff like that. You can get 10% off of there. So it's all the military prints as you might imagine I think they've got other things in there as well but if you want to have a look at that pop into the actual I've got to remember where it is now it's in the actual exclusive members offer area on the forum if you pop in there it discusses obviously you've got all the passwords uh, and all the discount codes are all in there for all the offers that we do but as I say cleaveprints.co.uk they're doing 10% as well off for members so if you go in there if you look down in there Steve talks about how you make your order and if he hasn't got them he can get them in for you various things like that as well so if you're into your military artwork prints you can catch it from him anyway as always on a friday i'm going to leave you with your great work from the gallery so until monday everybody happy modeling take care